Step 2. Activating the Developer Experience In this video, the Cloud Admin will be activating the Developer Experience from the VMware Cloud Console. This will activate ARIA Automation Free Tier within your VMware Cloud Services organization and set up all the necessary building blocks, such as Cloud Accounts, Projects, Regions, and Namespace classes that is needed to configure manage and use of the cloud consumption interface capability within VMware ARIA Automation. Let's log in into the VMware Cloud Service, this time as the Cloud Admin Persona. If we check active users under the identity and access management, we can see that the Cloud Admin is an active user in this org. And just like the VI admin in the previous video, the cloud admin has been granted both the owner and the member organization roles and a service role for vSphere Plus service as a cloud administrator that will allow the cloud admin to launch and interact with the service. We also see two additional active users that we have added to our organization, a developer and a non-developer user persona where both have been granted an organization member role, but without any additional service roles. We will be adding access for these users programmatically when we activate the developer experience service shortly. We will now click on the services menu item and launch the vSphere Plus service, which takes us to the VMware Cloud Console. We will then click on the inventory menu item to access our on-premise deployment that we have onboarded to vSphere Plus in the previous video. Clicking View Details and then clicking on the Integrated Services tab takes us to the Developer Experience Service. We can see that the Developer Experience Service is available for activation. The Developer Experience Service powered by ARIA Automation enables automated workload provisioning by setting up a self-service infrastructure for your developers where you can manage it with governance policies that gives you insight and control. Please note that you must have the organization own a role to activate the developer experience that will activate ARIA Automation Free Tier and set up all the building blocks needed, including the cloud consumption interface. When we click Activate, we get a page with all the discovered supervisors and traditional vSphere clusters that are managed by the vCenter on-premise deployment so the discovered clusters can be enabled for developer self-service experience. Under the Supervisors section, we will provide access to the developer experience on top of Supervisors for the developer persona by clicking Add Access and selecting the developer persona user account. Under the vSphere Cluster section, we will also provide access to the developer experience, but this time on top of vSphere traditional clusters for the non-developer persona by clicking Add Access and selecting the non-developer persona user account. We will then click Finish to submit our developer experience access and activation request. Now that the developer experience is activated by the Cloud Administrator, clicking Open takes us right into the VMware Service Broker within VMware ARIA Automation Free Tier. VMware Service Broker provides a single point where you can request and manage catalog items. But before we dive into that, let's first explore a few things to see what exactly happened with our VMware Cloud Services organization after the developer experience activation. If we go back to the organization Cloud Service, and explore our services page, we can see that in addition to the vSphere Plus service entitlement, our organization is now entitled to VMware ARIA Automation Free Tier, which is a modern automation platform that offers a comprehensive cross-cloud automation solution for self-service, workload governance, infrastructure as code, and more for all VMware and native public cloud-based infrastructure. There are, however, specific limitation on the number of resources that administrators can create with an ARIA Automation Free Tier. Please make sure to check the documentation for more information. 
Now, if we check our active users and personas under the identity and access management, we can see that both the cloud admin and the VI admin persona being organization owners have been granted admin and user services role for VMware Cloud Assembly and VMware Service Broker within VMware ARIA Automation. We can also see that both the developer and the non-developer user persona being organization members that we provided access to during our developer experience activation have now been granted both a user service role for VMware Cloud Assembly and VMware Service Broker within VMware ARIA Automation. If we click on the services menu item and launch the VMware ARIA automation to explore its contents, we can see all the automation capabilities that the cloud admin is currently entitled to, such as the VMware Cloud Assembly. This is where we can build, provision, and iterate on applications using infrastructure as code with agile governance. And the VMware Service Broker we just mentioned, where we can browse through the catalog of infrastructure and application services across multiple cloud platforms and deploy them with a single click. That's it for this video. We will see you in the next one. And thank you for watching.